Good evening, folks. The SK is going great. Um, just that far away from new spells. Um, I was playing them earlier today, and just I had to jump back on them tonight. So doing some playing Soul A earlier today with uh, with the Thorn. <laughs> yeah, he's a biggin. He's a biggin. They don't come much bigger. Oh, your mom thinks she's fat. Tell her to look at this guy. Light, blood, life draw. Thanks for the host, McCringleberries. Appreciate that. The peanuts before Disney got their grubby mitts on it. Oh, that makes me so angry. 3D CGI peanuts. Charlie Brown I'm talking about. Nothing from my childhood is left. It's all been destroyed. I'm going to do some cross-gender He-Man thing next. Believe it or not, gaming like this is a large part of EQ. Just sitting next to a volcano and not doing much of anything. <laughs> it's a big part of the game. It's a very slow pace. Very social. Very social. A lot of people just sitting around talking to each other. That's 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 the biggest draw of the game. It's uh, the gameplay is good and, and you know the questing is good and the whatnot, but the big draw of the game is the social aspect of the game. It's basically just a chat room where you kill things. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm hot. Be right back getting coffee. Yeah. But actually, coffee will, um, because it raises your core temperature, it makes the uh, surrounding area feel cooler. That's why they sell coffee on the beach. It's all relative. All I drink is coffee. Booza. Booza. I'm calling you Booza. Sorry. <laughs> all I drink is coffee and water. About six to eight pots a day. Oh yeah, yeah, every day. Wake up in the morning, make one. That's my breakfast pot, and then I have another one before lunch. And then another one after lunch. And uh, <laughs> then another one before dinner. And then there's one between dinner and bedtime for the baby. And then, um, then I'll have one or two at night while I'm streaming. And uh, I've done that my whole life, though. I've always... Been a big, big coffee drinker. It doesn't even keep me awake anymore. I'll, dry, I'll finish this pot and I'll go right to sleep. I sleep like the dead. Oh, my blood pressure's perfect. My heart rate's perfect. I get massive headaches if I don't have that much coffee. That's that's the downside. If I like go more than three or four hours without drinking any coffee, I'll start getting a headache. So. I just really like coffee. That's all I do. I just like coffee. Yeah. No, yeah. If it, you get, you get. I don't want to say uh, resistant to it because you never get resistant to caffeine or anything like that. You just, uh, you're so used to it that it just, it, it's not a factor anymore. Love the taste. Colombian. Colombian. I don't. I, I don't care what kind of Colombian. That's the only, just drink Colombian. That's all you need. You can keep that Jamaican and that cat poop coffee in. Just give me good old Colombian. <laughs> Colombian tastes like coffee smells. Um, it's the right kind of soil, the right kind of beans. And you know that that smell that you associate with coffee. Well, that's what Colombian tastes like. Yeah, the cat poop coffee. I will never drink something out of a cat's rectum. Sorry. <laughs> Especially my cat. Jesus Christ. My cat's old, and their uh, digestive system is uh, less than ideal. So when she goes, the whole house knows it. Folgers. Bite your tongue. <laughs> Although Folgers Colombian isn't bad. Um, 
Now that uh, I'll, I'll get something like that for like my normal day-to-day -day coffee, Folgers Columbian or Maxwell House Columbian. They're both okay, but um, like eight o'clock whole bean. Uh, you just buy the beans and then grind it. Um, but you have to be careful with eight o'clock because they they try to sh shift you as some arabica beans. It's Colombian roast, so you have to be really careful with that. <laughs> And your coffee maker is important too. Um, if you use like one of those Mr. Coffee things, you're just killing yourself. Spend the extra money, get a bun. Because it starts with hot water. The water doesn't have to heat when it's going through the machine. It starts hot. Um, just like when you're making tea. You know, you want boiling hot tea. Or water for tea. And you want, you want the pot to be hot too. Well, with coffee, you want the same thing. You want hot water. You want you want to start with hot water. And in a bun, it has that retaining tank that constantly keeps the water hot. So when you pour in the the, the cold water, it, it displaces the hot water, and all, all you get is hot water. It doesn't have to heat up on its way through. It's ready hot. So spend the extra 20 bucks. You won't be sorry. And they come with a warranty. They're serviceable. You can fix a bun. You can't fix a Mr. Coffee. Once in a while, yeah, once in a while. My girlfriend's a big tea drinker, and sometimes she'll put on a pot and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's why restaurants use them. I think I'm going to uh, switch over to my monk for a little bit and just goof around on him. And here's a little secret for you. French roast is just code for somebody burnt the freaking coffee. Lighter roasts have higher caffeine count. Um, darker roasts, the beans get dried out, the oils get dried out, you lose a lot of the caffeine. So if you're in it just for the caffeine, get a lighter roast. That's why that Maxwell House Classic, that horrible nasty... Um, Stuff that you get in a blue can that it's in every office in the country. Um, it's a it's a very light roast, so it's a lot of caffeine, but it tastes like it tastes like ass. For the average pot, three quarters of a cup, rounded. You don't want a level cup, a rounded cup. Was it 30, 35 years of coffee drinking? <laughs> oh, no, I don't drink. I'm sorry. No, it's, I don't drink at all. Ever. I am horrible at drinking. Now, when I say coffee and water, literally, that's all I drink is coffee and water. Well, except for the occasional tea. No. Nope. No, nope, neither one of us. We're, we're both teetotalers. In more ways than one, I guess. All right, the girlfriend or I, I mean. It, it evaporates it uh, a bit. If, if your coffee's hot, it'll evaporate some of the alcohol off. But it, it you know, like a, what, Irish, what, Irish whiskey and coffee. Um, the two flavors combine well from what I am led to believe. But, you know. Not, not being a drinker, I don't... I couldn't tell you. Used to. When I was young, I used to drink a lot. An unhealthy amount. Maybe that's what it was. Just overdid it. How long have I been in EverQuest? 17 years. Off and on, of course. Um, started playing right after um, Kunark came out. Although I am the worst EQ player ever to exist, ever. Um... Because I've always solo played. And as you know, old EQ especially is not very solo friendly. Uh, so my uh, progress was always really slow. Until, uh, you know, after Planes of Power when everything picked up. 
and then I was able to actually go out and start doing things. And then on the live servers, when they started giving out the, uh, you know, the veteran rewards with the uh, free level 85 upgrades, then I just started going and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But it's a very solo friendly game now. The live version is. Um, let's go over the EC tunnel. On P99? Are you kidding? <laughs> There's all kinds of grouping at low levels. All kinds. Live? No. No, you won't find any groups on live, but you don't need them on live. But on P99, they're everywhere. Hey, the first ten levels, you tend to solo. Um, <laughs> uh, on the on this server, you tend to. You don't have to, but you tend to. Um, but then after that, there's groups everywhere. Oh, this is this is that kind of server. Very sociable. Yeah, you just Google Project 1999. It'll give you all the information you need on getting it set up and installed. And it's 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 not it's not a simple download and install kind of thing. There, there's uh, some steps involved. And once you got to figure it out, the entire installation process takes about 15 minutes. It's just you gotta figure it out first. Now bear in mind the game that you uh, install won't look like quite like this because I got the um, uh, graphics upgrade that uh, incorporates shadows and everything like that. It'll it'll look much more kunarky <laughs> when you install it from the because uh, you need the titanium edition of the game to install it, and uh, the server doesn't support the new graphics um, for character models and whatnot. But just a little digging around or asking around, you can you can get all that stuff installed if you, if you want it. If you want it, I do it you know primarily for the stream because it looks a little better. But um, when we first started playing on the server, I just used the, the base models and and I enjoyed it. After about ten minutes, you don't even see them anymore. You just see a fun game. The shadows here. See if it if you do a lot of dungeons, get the shadows, okay? Because you can see things through walls. <laughs> Or through ceilings. Um, anywhere where a shadow is cast, it tends to uh, go through walls and whatnot, so you know what to expect when you get there. It is. It really is. Bar none. Um, and this is, without a doubt, the best gaming community ever. Um, you're not going to find a better gaming community. And I, don't, I don't care what game you play. I don't care how long you've played it. This is the best community I've ever come across in any game ever. And I've played most of them. I was just sitting here goofing around. Not doing anything, not talking to anybody, didn't ask for anything. I'm buffed. <laughs> I ran into one toxic person on here, and uh, he wasn't even really toxic, he was just role-playing in Ixar. Just a bit crudely, that's all. Well, technically, I think it was Ultima that started it all, but it was uh, EverQuest was the first one to break a million. And uh, it was the first one to popularize the uh, MMO thing. Yeah. First one to offer counseling sessions. <laughs> EQ Widows. Remember those? Started up their own support group. <laughs> and I used to play like that. I'd think nothing of sitting in front of the computer for 16 hours a day back in the day. Think nothing of it. I mean, I'm well beyond that now, but. Um, no, I don't play that much. I really only play when I stream. That's why all my characters are so low level. No, I've, I, I've kicked that habit, and now I just play for fun. Um, older, wiser. I should play an enchanter. <laughs> That's, they have mana. Monks don't have mana. I have an enchanter. I, I can't stand playing them. I can't do casters. I cannot do it. Not do it. My Shadow Knight's really pushing the uh, medding thing. I spent a lot of time in Soul A today, and uh, a lot of that time spent sitting on my butt waiting for Mana to come back. Although, excuse me, this morning when I went, it was with, uh, or this afternoon when I went, it was with a uh, Channer and a Druid. Well, two Druids, actually. Me and uh, Gathorn's Druid, and um, then another high level Druid that was buffing, and uh, an Enchanter that was also buffing. Alright, we're making my way back over to Freeport.
It's a monk. <laughs> Ah, oh, awesome. Who's fighting gods? Now I can strike. Oh, neat. Let's go punch something. He said I look rather noobish. Is that it? Should I be insulted? Well, that's much more monkly. I'm gonna have to put the two-hander back in the uh, back in the bank. What is the hork? <laughs> it's a question I get asked a lot. Yeah, you just get asked just about every stream. What's the, what's a hork? Is what's hork? What's you just get that all the time. So we just put together a video on the YouTube channel that explains the whole thing. It's actually the uh, trailer video on the YouTube channel. So that way I don't have to keep retelling the same story over and over again. Gathorn um, pop, popped in here earlier. Um, does all my uh, edited videos for me. He'll take bits and pieces from the live stream. He has a, he has a knack, a gift. <clears throat> but he put together this really nice video explaining the Hork story. Uh, kinda, sorta, um, not really as much as you'd think. Our entire time on P99 has been streamed. All, all our playtime, uh, well at least mine, um, all, all the playtime I've done on P99 has been on stream. So one one and the other kind of go together. The guild's not really all that big, though. It's, uh, and it's definitely a newbie guild. Um, I guess you'd call it a leveling guild. Although leveling isn't really that important to us, you know. Okay. And on that note, folks, I think I'm going to call it a night. It's uh, about 3 a.m. I'm getting a little sleepy. So, um, thank you all for all the new follows. That was amazing. And, uh, thanks for keeping me company. And, um, back on tomorrow at noon. Back on tomorrow again, t uh, 11 o'clock. Um, that's my schedule. Noon and 11 every day, Eastern Standard Time. So, hope to see you then. Uh, have a good night, folks.